Spirit Lake is a testament to the resilience of Mother Nature, forming just years after the most recent eruption blew the old lake away. But Spirit Lake also poses a risk. There's potentially 50,000 people that could be affected downstream. Um, you know, obviously a major safety issue, but there's also a huge economic in impact potentially with blocking of the shipping channels in the Columbia River. Geologists say past lakes surrounding Mount St. Helens have historically flooded, reaching the Columbia River, where today thousands live in the communities of Kelso and Longview. In the 1980s, to help control the level of the lake, the federal government built a 1.6 mile long drainage tunnel. Obviously, you can see Spirit Lake. That's where the majority of the project's going to occur. The Forest uh, Service's it. Ryan Cole it's says it's time for an upgrade at the lake level. Here's where a barge loading facility will be constructed. Next month, work will begin to replace the original gate with a system of four gates providing backups and more layers to keep the floating trees from the 1980 eruption from clogging the tunnel. If any one part of that gate system fails, we've got a backup. The Forest Service cannot do much about the threat of future eruptions, but Cole says the feds are not going to let nature take its course with Spirit Lake. Because we've built in these, you know, hazardous areas and we know that there is that, that hazard does exist, that puts risk on the table. And so for us to mitigate that risk, uh, the tunnel infrastructure is absolutely critical for that. The work will happen over the next four summers, and as a result, there will be weekday closures along several popular hiking trails. We have a full list of those trails and the closures on our website, king5.com. At Mount St. Helens, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.